Hi and welcome to another Type with Me. In this video I'm going to talk about large language models, LLM, AI and prompt engineering, right? So let's go and continue and show you a little bit of terminology. So I'm going to talk about LangChain and LangChain, well, it's simplifying the process of using large language models and it has a library in Python and it has a library in TypeScript. And because I'm mainly talking about JavaScript and TypeScript, well, we are going to use LangChain here. And then I'm also going to use Olama. Well, why am I going to use Olama? Well, I'm going to run um, the LLMs on, on my PC, on my MacBook, right? Uh, but you can also run it in Linux or you can run it on Windows with VSL. So Olama is a very great tool if you just don't want to use the open AI um, there, but you just want to have something, uh, some LLM and want to test out and play along with Langchain and um, Jupyter Notebook locally on your machine. So if we go to uh, olama.ai, you can very easily download it and install it on your local machine, right? You can also see which kind of models they had. So for example, here you can just go for the models and search along and see how oh, this model is interesting. I want to install it. Uh, one of the ones that I'm interested in is Orca Mini, general purpose model ranging from 3 billion parameters to 70 billion, suitable for entry level hardware, for example. What you then could do, for example, is just say, hey, I want to run Orca Mini. What he's going to do is going to fetch Orca Mini and he's going to install it locally on your machine. You see here that Orca Mini is two gigabytes, so it's going to download it and install it um, there and then it will run it right away uh, on your machine. Um, so that's the only downside, of course, if you want to use uh, locally these kind of models, well, yeah, take some space on your hard drive. All right, so I installed it and I asked it some questions. So I'm going to ask now, tell me a random joke about music. Why did the bassist quit the band? Because he couldn't afford guitar. <laughs> Tell me a joke about technology. Why did the computer go to the doctor? Because it had a virus. <laughs> All right. It's quite fast. It's cool. So now we have uh, Orca Mini uh, here, right? And if you follow to the news a little bit, Orca Mini is something from Microsoft. Uh, really tailored around um, around models, but more on the small language models, right? So interesting to play along with and to see what it can do. All right, so now let's go to um, Jupyter Notebook. We have our Dino instance right here. And so we can very easily import prompt template from Langchain prompts and we can also import chat Olama from the chat models, right? Then I can here press play to play it along and of course play here our code to get a model chat Olama. Then we have a prompt template. We say, tell me a joke about. And then we have here our prompt tem template dot pipe with our model, which is our chat Olama model. And then we say here, eh, uh, chain dot invoke. Our topic is beers. So here we say, tell me a joke about beers. Bears, bears not beers, <laughs> maybe because I'm from Belgium, I can maybe do this one. 
and I'm going to ask it again. So, <laughs> why did the beer go to the to therapy? Because it was feeling a little flat. <laughs> Which is also a very good one, right? So, from the last one, we get just an answer, but you can also tailor a little bit your prompts, right? And you can say like, hey, you are an expert translator. Format all responses as JSON objects with two keys, original and translated. And then a human can say translate the input into a language, and then we say here invoke input, I love programming, and then language German. So I'm going to press play. So here I'm going to press play. Right here we get chat prompt template from a language prompt. And also I'm going to use chat Ulama, right? Um, so I'm going to press here play. All right, here we are. And I'm going to print out the results. And the result says original I love programming translated ich liebe programmieren um, i don't know if i if i uh, pronounced it correctly so for the germans sorry that it was maybe not that good that it should be but i think that's already a great thing we can now use um lang chain locally on our machine and we can play around we can just choose which large language model we're going to use and um, that's, I think, a great thing to do. Uh, I hope you learned something from this. Uh, in my opinion, it's very strong way of working with large language models and tailor it towards the things that you want to have. For example, translation of languages or there are also good examples around sentiment, sentiment analysis uh, that you just can instruct with right prompting and prompt engineering. Um, so for me, I think I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into it because for me, it's, I think, a very important thing to get my hands on. I hope to um, create some more Jupyter notebooks around this topic and going a little bit deeper into what Langchain can do for myself and hopefully for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope you liked what I showed you. Maybe you are also eager to learn uh, how to work with uh, Langchain and doing some prompt engineering. If you are working with prompt engineering, and you think, hey, this is a cool thing to experiment with, please leave a comment below and just say what, hey, this and this could be maybe cool to play around with, to inspire other people and maybe inspire me as well. Um, so I hope to see you soon. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.